And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Mementosaurus, which was a request from Cole via Patreon and also a request from Dinosaur4602 on YouTube. So thank you. It was a sauropod with a really long neck. It made up about half its body length. Speaking of animals with long necks from yeah. earlier with True. Sean's question. It lived in the Jurassic in what is now China. There's multiple species, and the largest one is estimated to be about 115 feet or 35 meters long and weighing between 50 and 75 tons. The type species is Mementosaurus constructus. It was around 43 to 49 feet or 13 to 15 meters long. Tiny. <laughs> yeah. It was discovered in 1952 on a construction site in Sichuan, China. They found a partial skeleton, and it was named in 1954 by C.C. Young. The type specimen includes an incomplete neck with 14 vertebrae. The name means Mamenchi lizard, and Mamenchi in Chinese means horse, gate, stream, or brook. That's a lot of different things. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to be named after the place it was found, which was a construction site next to the Mamingxi Ferry Crossing in the Sichuan province in China. But Young accidentally mixed up the location name, and Mamingxi, which means horse name brook, was mistaken as Mamenxi, which is horse gate brook. So there you go. Yeah. <laughs> and the species named Constructus because the fossil was found at a construction site. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> There's a book called The Chronicles of Hua Yang written in the Jin Dynasty between. 265 to 317 CE that describes the finding of dragon bones in what is now the Sichuan province. And there's been a lot of Jurassic fossils, including Mementosaurus bones that have been found there. So Mementosaurus may have contributed to folklore about dragons. And as a side note, people used to believe that dragon bones had medicinal qualities. Oh. I wonder if they were grinding up dinosaur bones and like eating them. It's possible. Yeah. <laughs> The second species of Mementosaurus is Mementosaurus hotronensis, and that was described in 1972. It's estimated to be about 72 feet or 22 meters long, and its neck was 31 feet or 9.3 meters long. Now we're getting there. And it had a complete neck preserved with 19 vertebrae. Another Mementosaurus hotronensis specimen was found in 2001, and it had a club tail, which it probably used for defense. Other sauropods with club tails were Omeosaurus and Shunosaurus. I think if I had known about those when I was a kid, that might be my favorite dinosaur over an ankylosaur. It's just a larger version of ankylosaur. Yeah, and it, imagine the amount of inertia you can get behind that huge whip tail with a club on it. That's that would just true. be so cool. I wonder if any of them had osteoderms too. Yeah, well, some titanosaurs had osteoderms like yeah. we were talking about. So. so it really is just a bigger version. Just a huge ankylosaur. <laughs> it's so cool. Uh, another species of Mementosaurus is Mementosaurus sinocanadorum, which was described in 1993. And scientists found skull material and the first four cervical vertebrae. It had the longest cervical rib of any described sauropod at 13 and a half feet or 4.1 meters long. It's also the longest species in general of Mementosaurus, estimated at 115 feet or 35 meters long, with a neck that's 56 feet or 17 meters long. Yeah, I could see, though, if you're only basing it on skull material and a vertebrae, mm -hmm. it's like that's a pretty difficult couple bones to use to estimate length. You know, it's kind of like how they like to see a femur to estimate the the weight. weight yeah yeah you you want more than just one vertebrae and some skull but but it's yeah. better than no vertebrae yeah that's true and if you're convinced that they're close relatives you might be able to scale it and have some reasonable confidence yeah can't imagine that neck length <laughs> yeah that's out of control <laughs> there's also a species called mementosaurus Anuensis, that was named in 1996, and that was about 69 feet or 21 meters long. And Mementosaurus jingenensis, which was named in 1998, and that was about 66 to 85 feet or 20 to 26 meters long. And their last was Mementosaurus young eye, which was named in 1996, though it was originally found in 1989, and that's named in honor of young. It was 52 feet or 16 meters long with a 21 foot or six and a half meter long neck. 
So weird that one of them is like twice as big as all the other ones too. Yeah. So Mementosaurus young eyes vertebrae above its hips were fused together in a V shape, so it may have had to hold its tail up at a 20 degree angle. Huh. There's one study from 2013 that found that Mementosaurus young eye may have eaten low vegetation based on the stiffness of its vertebrae. It had a pretty straight neck posture, and so it was a low browser. One Mementosaurus found had an injured tail, probably due to a broken and rehealed backbone injury or infection that caused ossified tissue to build up. The long neck of Mementosaurus means that it could eat a lot of food from the same spot because of its reach. And Mementosaurus had spatula-shaped teeth, which were good for eating large bunches of leaves. You can see an animatronic Mementosaurus in Prague at the Harfa Dino Park. Yeah, we missed that while we were in Prague. Next time. Or another yeah. reason to go back. Yeah, Prague is wonderful. So Mementosaurus is part of the family Mementosauridae, and that's in the sauropod group. And this family was named in 1972 by Young and Zhao in a paper about Mementosaurus. And other dinosaurs in this group include Chuanjisaurus, Tianshanosaurus, Omeosaurus, and Tonganosaurus. 